job is to uh, create some pea sticks and bean poles and um, that involves chopping down one of the two coppiced hazels that you can see in this shop so the one for the chop this year is the one on the left you're going to have to be careful because there's lots of bulbs, lots of dafts coming up underneath it they'll have a much better chance once this thing is chopped back start on this side so the car can stay where it is quite safely for a while um, the aim is that I'm going to saw off the sticks and Sue's so going to chop the top bits for pea sticks so we're going to get on with that Every year or two we cut down one of the two hazels that grow on the edge of our plot sort of copies them and we use the twigs as pea sticks and the stronger poles are used to create structures for things like sweet peas so today's the day for the larger of the two hazels to get the chop and to start with Martin's just taking off the twiggy bits at the bottom The hazels are sort of multi-purpose because not only do they provide us with poles and twigs but in summer when we get sunshine it's a good place to park the car underneath. There's some quite good poles on, isn't there? Yeah. We'll just leave that there for a few minutes until we get on to another stage. So now it's time for Martin to get out one of his toys to deal with the thicker boughs on the hazel. The tall poles last a few years but the twiggy bits soon become quite brittle. So these tend to be replaced more regularly. The twiggy bits are also quite good for weaving in and out of the poles so that things like sweet peas have a foothold. Be a bit careful how close I get or I get bops on the head. Pardon? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Some quite thick ones, isn't there? Right. So once we have a few poles, I get the job of taking them over here to star. Now 
as you can see we've got quite a few and these are all the new ones that have been cut today So I better get back to doing my shifting work. So after an afternoon's work, we're down to this. The last few. The last few branches. And what? Chains come off. And the chains come off. So, bit of repair work necessary. battery off so that there's no nasty accidents Is it easy to put on? Yep, yeah. no, I shouldn't have said that, should I? No It's like a bicycle chain isn't it? Yeah. Is that it? Not sure. He said you shouldn't have said it was easy. Broken. Chain. So is it no good? Mm. I think it sort of got a bit twisted when it's come out. So is it not broken? Eh? Is it not broken? <laughs> Always the case. Yeah. Can you see those things just slotted in there and it's bent some so they won't go in? Right. See they go in all the way around. Yeah. But there's three there that it must have bent since it's come off that just won't go back in. Because normally if you pull it like that they all go back in. But they won't so I presume it'll just come back out again. So take two and a new toy. Toy number two to get the last few branches out because Martin's broken toy number one. Concentration on the face. it take a bit more to go through with that? Yeah. That's not really coloured, is it? No. It's more like proper wood than anything else. Yeah.
Less high tech machinery coming well, in. I might, when I've got chainsaw, but I might try and get some of these thick bits out. Uh huh. Are we going to cheer when the last one comes off? No. <laughs> Champagne? I don't know if we've got some. We haven't. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> so it's coffee instead of champagne? Yeah. Okay. I best carry this lot back up to the pile then, aren't I? Yeah. I get all the beefy work. Despite breaking one chain, I have managed to get uh, our one of our hazels coppiced or as near as coppice, coppicing as it's going to get so we've got that down I think I've managed to miss standing on most of the daffodils that are coming up I have managed to get an odd one but we've got some nice clumps of daffodils under here that I've managed so they should be okay and of course what we have got is an enormous pile of pea sticks, canes, whatever you want to call them. And at the moment we've moved that tree from down there to there. We will sort out the poles and pea sticks nearer the time when we want them. One other thing that's worth noting, I know if you watched my last video I was talking about drying out all this wicked grass and once it had dried out trying to burn it, we have got another pile of stuff, I had to think like you do and I realised that we had started creating another enormous pile of stuff to burn on this side of the plot in one of the compost bays. So by the leaks and in this compost bay we've a heap of dryish material that I'm hoping will burn all right. So if it stays dry over the next few days I might well stay late and have a fire see if we can get rid of some more rubbish but it's not supposed to rain for a few days so hopefully that wick grass that we're leaving to dry out will do just that and we will in fact be able to get rid of most of it tidy up this area for summer mm -hmm.